is nothing short of an aviation miracle. When you hear two airplanes collided in the sky, you really think the worst. But a Cirrus aircraft with two passengers touched down safely this morning after deploying a parachute. If this was any other uh, aircraft other than a Cirrus that was involved in this mid-air collision today, there would be at least two, two more people that lost lives. Ron Mincher says he landed his plane at Centennial Airport just minutes before the mid-air collision. He's been flying Cirrus aircraft since 2013. It actually, ironically, includes a ballistic rocket and a 60-foot canopy parachute that is just like uh, you know, for situations that happened at Centennial Airport with a mid-air collision. Investigators say the plane hit a metro liner that landed safely at Centennial Airport, missing so many pieces. Hundreds and thousands of operations every year at Centennial uh, that are done safely. So I think this was just a fluke accident. Tyler Batchelder is an associate professor at MSU who specializes in flight training. So it'll be interesting to see what the investigation uh, reveals about what these pilots were able to see outside, whether they were able to see each other in sufficient time. The Sears aircraft is a rental plane from Independence Aviation, a flight school at the airport. Mincher says he trained there. They use the planes for for uh, training for pilots like me who stepped up from a, tr a traditional general aviation airplane. A scary situation ending with so much relief, knowing it could have been much worse. In Arapahoe County, I'm Kelly Grinke, Nine News.